Uh, we do have to replace a few windows because somebody broke them. And let's... What's up everybody, welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna go check out this uh, rental unit that I have. I am pretty excited about this. I've been holding this rental for about almost a year now and I've made no money on it. I made one month worth of rent and then I had the evicted guy. I did an eviction video on this a couple of months ago. I'll post a link up here for it. Yeah, it was a pretty tedious process getting him out of there, but nonetheless, we got him out. I'm happy about it. And now we're getting this thing fixed up finally. The economy is definitely looking crazy right now. So flips, wholesale deals, everything is just basically taking you know a nosedive to the downside but I'll teach you guys how to survive this and if you're um, strong enough you can definitely do these things so wholesaling hasn't been uh, very fun lately and the reason why I say that it's been tough a lot of buyers have dropped out of the market nobody's buying or at least the flippers aren't and some strategic investors are still buying but they're mostly looking for rental properties not really looking for flips and they're definitely not paying anything what they've been paying in the last you know three to six months ago even though it is tough don't get me wrong it is tough it's a tough market right now if you're a, a new wholesaler it's a little tough but the ones who persevere and continue moving forward are the ones who come out on top um I, i'm not gonna say that i'm i'm a top wholesaler because i'm not you know there's some bigger guys in my market but we're surviving because we know how to adapt we knew this was coming so we've been trying to transition into the buying portion of the wholesale transaction so not only are we still generating leads still finding properties we're actually trying to buy the majority of these properties instead of just wholesaling them off and while yeah it does cost some money we're still wholesaling properties we still have properties that were uh um, you know wholesaling we we know that you know sustainability is key here and the only way to stay st uh, sustainable is by actually buying these deals so right now i'm at the home depot i'm gonna go in here and get this flooring real quick load it up get our butts over there to that trailer take a look at it to see what we have already spent on it um, how much work is involved and um, show you guys how to prosper even in this down market All right, so here we are, home sweet home. This place is uh, in okay shape. I mean, we didn't do much to it. Um, all we did was paint and we put new floors. Um, the flooring that we chose is called Choice Oak Vinyl Plank Flooring and got it at Home Depot. I don't remember how much it is, but I know it's $3.50 a square foot. Installation, I think they charge us like 1500 or something like that to install it here. Um, which is not bad and you can see behind me it's looking pretty good um, the only thing that we're doing major in here is actually replacing both of the tubs so it's a two bedroom two bath um, both of the bathtubs are just super cheap trailer uh, bathrooms or bathtubs and they were in really bad shape uh, they were leaking and of course leaky water means that there's rotted wood, there's stuff that's going on behind it that I didn't want to, you know, keep happening. Uh, the good thing about this place is I got it really cheap. And I also, um, it has a brand new water heater, has a brand new HVAC. Um, you can see here, they stripped out the old bathroom or the old bathtub. And they got all the, the new uh, subflooring down which is good too. Let's get a nice little pick of that. Pretty uh, happy with the results of this place. Got it for 30,000. We're putting about 10 into it right now, freshening it up after the eviction. No appliances needed, came with the appliances. The guy did not steal them, which is also good. You know, never, uh, never know what could happen, but that's uh, something positive. 
and then it has a brand new water heater i think i mentioned that already brand new hvac brand new roof some windows have been replaced uh, we do have to replace a few windows because somebody broke them and looks looks like they still have uh, some subflooring to fix out here i just heard some gunshots so i'm gonna get out of here and uh we're gonna go back to the office and talk some numbers so that day was kind of wild um you guys heard the gunfire in the background. It was pretty close. Uh, the mic did not pick up on how close it was, but it was probably like two doors down where the shooting occurred. And uh, I know that I was a little bit unfazed because I'm kind of used to hearing gunfire practically everywhere I go. Because if you guys know me by now, I mostly wholesale all my properties in the hood. So I'm a little used to it, but at the same time, I put the camera down, I actually had a gun on me, and I just kind of like peeked around the corner to make sure nobody was just gonna jump out and, you know, probably gun me down right there. Uh, I actually just went home after that and I didn't feel like recording. So I'm actually recording this video quite a few weeks after. Uh, but nonetheless, in order to survive right now as a wholesaler, you're gonna have to toughen up a little. Know that your properties are gonna last a little bit longer than you want them to. And you're gonna have to work harder to find buyers because there's not a lot of buyers right now. Um, they've mostly dried up because the most of them were buying higher than what they uh, should have been buying. And they're struggling to probably recover money that they've lost because now they have properties either sitting on the market longer and not moving as fast, or they're trying to turn their flips into rentals and they're losing money. One of the two. I, I have seen both of them happen right now. I know a builder right now that is on the verge of, you know, losing $200 million. So, I mean, as time goes on, you're going to see a lot of builders wash out. You're going to see a lot of investors wash out. But then you're going to see a lot of new players hit the block where they're like, hey, you know, I'm going to be, you know, investing smarter than what uh, others have been doing. I know plenty of new investors that are coming back in, a lot of veteran investors that they've been doing the real estate business for quite a while. So they know what they're doing. And all it is is having a plan. Some guys don't have plans and that's why they usually fail. Definitely also don't be afraid to make that tra transition from just wholesaling into buying. Wholesaling is not a title. You, you're not a wholesaler forever. You're an investor. Wholesaling is only an exit strategy. You can change that exit strategy at any time. You can wholesale it, you can buy it, you can sell it, you can flip it, you can do whatever you want with it. The point is that you want to try to take some of these deals down because I know a lot of wholesalers, a lot, guys that have been wholesaling for a while, they look back at some of the first wholesale deals that they've done and they're like, man, I should have kept it. I should have kept it. I could have made so much more money because the long game is what makes money. The short term stuff is cool too. Don't get me wrong. You know, we, we did about $1.3 million in assignment fees this year, even though $1.3 million sounds nice. I could have made about $5 million if I would have held it. That's the crazy part. Don't be afraid to hold stuff. Don't be afraid to make that transition into an actual buyer and take some of your deals down. Now I know some of you guys probably were hoping that I was gonna be in a body bag at the end of this video, but guess what? I'm like a cockroach, I don't die. But unfortunately, you're sadly disappointed. I am alive and well, no bullet holes, nothing. I'm good to go. Usually I'm rolling with enough firepower to take over a small country. But you know, that's just me. <laughs> type of places I invest in are not, you know, the best. They're also not the worst. Uh, that area is actually not that bad. I was actually pretty surprised that there was any gunfire happening. Definitely check out some of my courses that I have available now. Um, there are some good stuff for newbie investors, also stuff for veteran investors that are trying to automate a lot of stuff. I don't really usually sell anything on my channel, but I decided to give you guys some type of value. Now I know that that might not make any sense. How am I uh, giving you value, but you're paying money for it. Uh, I'm giving you a lot more than what you're paying for. Trust me. You can ask any other guys that have been in any of my courses. You get way more than what you pay for. Some of the stuff that they have actually learned from me, you know, they have tried to pay other guys and never even got a quarter of what I've given away. That's food for thought. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to get going and I'll catch you guys on another vlog.